Hey guys, today I'll be showcasing my new Jetstream Sand build. As a uh, Bloodthirsty Shattered and it's a Monstrous build. And uh, here I'll showcase some of the gear I have. A Black Diver obviously. Most of the stuff I've traded for or just like, I farm Widow a lot and this is where I get all my rings and stuff. Wish I had a better HP Scarf, like I'd be a lot, I have like 10 more, like maybe 11 more HP if I had a better Scarf. Uh, here's some of the talents, I have like I think 23 rares. I got Wyvern's Claw, it's pretty good. When you do uh, aerial attacks and stuff like that, um, another rare talent, Sunken Predator, Finesse. This is such a like nice talent because it gives a lot of HP and you don't have to hear your sword getting pulled out every single minute. Um, yeah, Reinforced Armor was another thing I was going for on this build because I got 90 Fortitude. Uh, getting the incoming pen reduced by 30% really saves your life from that, genuinely. Harsh response, friend. These these are two talents I really wanted too because they give pretty good decent H HP and it just buffs reinforce a lot. Uh, let's see. Concussion. This is a really good talent. Being able to make people not able to see is pretty 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 useful. Spine cutter. It's always an essential on every build. This is a really good fucking one because if you combine it with a dark steel plate, which I used to have on this build, you'd like be stunned for like no. No time at all. Fishman, because you know, when you go in the water, you need to heal. Exoskeleton's really useful to the finish. This is a really good talent as well. It's like really clutch. This as well. Having the extra 10%, really 15% um, damage reduction and the 10 HP get from is really good. Um, what else do we have here? Uproar. Yeah, it's pretty useful. Aggressive posture. This is pretty good for people that are uh, really annoying to fight. It's also really annoying to have. Thresher Claws, Thresher Scales, all that good stuff. Warrior's Respite, Essential. Loot Skipper, obviously. You can never go build without it. Champion's Regalia, it's really useful for, you know, breaking posture and stuff. Bulldozer is an essential for an Amontulus uh, slot, always. What else do we have here? Blood Iron Spirit, free HP. Blade Dancer is super good. I recommend getting on every single build. Now obviously, uh, Speed Demon is an essential for having a Bloodthirsty weapon because when you have a speed boost, you, uh, you inflict bleed damage. I don't know how, but I literally got engaged at level 55. So Chronostasis is an essential as well for people that like to spam shard bows. Not gonna name any names. Um, yeah, that's it. Here's my, um, my all my all my gems on my moves. It's all level five, obviously, except Revenge because you know I don't have 40 agility. It's not gonna be level three. Uh, Bloodless on rapid punches. This is an essential. Strong left. Uh, shoulder bash has nothing. I need a blue jumper reinforced still. Master Flourish needs a bless so you know it can do all the damage. Uh, here's my HP stats. Uh, I wish I had a little more ether, but that's fine. Here's my talent bonuses and all that. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and here's my stats if you want to you know use them for a build you're making. 20 willpower for Black Diver, obviously. It's because it's, it's the best armor in the game, let's be real. 35 agility for all the agility talents. I really wanted Ghost, but I didn't get it. But who really cares if I did get it or not? Fortitude for Exoskeleton and Reinforced Armor. Strength for leveling my mantras and uh, all that good stuff.